sister station, KCAL in Los Angeles, was on the air when the shaking started. Take a look. This is a very strong earthquake. Pretty strong here. 821 here on the air. We're experiencing very strong shaking. Wow. I think we need to get under the desk. All right, we're going to go to break. Uh, we'll, we'll be, be right, right back, back. after we'll be right this. Back. Wow. So there's one scene that playing out live as that quake hit. Experts say there is a one in 20 chance last night's quake could be followed by something even bigger than a 7.1. And aftershocks could happen for months to come. In fact, the powerful quake caused some injuries, sparked fires like this one, and it closed roadways and caused some visible ruptures on the desert's surface. There's a picture of that right there. More video shows ceiling lights swaying. At this casino in Cabuza, California, that's about 90 miles east of Los Angeles. And take a look at the waves splashing around in these pools, all part of the impact from that quake. Also, uh, this roller coaster on the Las Vegas Strip could be seen swaying from the shock waves. Passengers on board made their way to the top of a 180 foot drop. And that, that video showing a little bit of the swing apparently on that roller coaster. So the back to back quakes were the strongest to hit Southern California in some two decades. Here's how they compare. The second quake was 11 times stronger than the first and five times bigger. What does that mean exactly? Well, we're being told that five times bigger refers to the size of the quake, while 11 times stronger refers to the intensity. The amount of energy released, and that's the more important figure because that's the that energy is uh, what causes the damage from earthquakes. So, 